Hey, what's up? I hope you're doing awesome today. Thank you for being here. I just got done doing an oracle message. If you haven't seen that already, you might want to check that out. I'm going to get into the tarot now. <sighs> oracle message was... I don't know, it's pretty heavy. Eight of Swords, which is what the last message was about. Someone feeling trapped, bound in their head. And but like I said in the last one, the cage door is open. It's up to you to step outside of it. Feeling trapped in the mind, it's an illusion. It's an illusion. Unless you're physically in prison, then the door is not open. It's not an illusion. But other than that, even that, there's always a way out. Because you can be in prison. Your spirit can be free. Your spirit can be free from mental entrapment. All right, let's see. <laughs> Where the fuck are we going with this? Moon. Illusions. What's done in the dark? Reaching for the truth through the dark. Coming out of the dark. There's a moon there too. But the moon is behind them. Usually the Six of Swords, you see the back of them. But these people are moving forward ready to face whatever is ahead of them. They're turning their back on the moon. They're turning their back on what's hidden. They're turning their back on fear. Eight of Swords again. I didn't notice this before, but see the light right over our heart chakra. Fighting to get out. It's it's bursting. It's 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 trying to break through whatever crack it can find. Follow your heart to the light. Somebody feels so trapped and so in the dark. There's really nothing stopping her from reaching down in front of her, pulling one of those swords and cut, setting herself free, setting her heart free. But she's fighting it. She doesn't see the way out. And it's right there. There she is. The bitches don't take no shit. I 
feel like I need to clarify these because it feels so much deeper. It's almost like she's the one making her feel. This Queen of Swords might be the one making her feel stuck. She's only got one sword. She's got eight. She takes off that blindfold. Who's going to win that fight? This Queen of Swords. Typically, the Queen of Swords speaks her truth. But I'm getting a real controlling vibe from this. I'm getting, um, she's the one. Keeping this person or keeping you stuck with mind games, with deception. This Queen of Swords is up to no good. It's time to move on and move away fearlessly moving away from the fear moving away from the mental entrapment setting yourself free because she's just using manipulation and lies to make you feel stuck I'm getting an energy where this queen of swords, whoever she is, she could be anybody, partner, mother, aunt, friend, fake friend. She's convinced you that she is the answer, that you need her. But that's the lie. That's the lie. That's what's being hidden. She only has power through fear or instilling fear. an illusion it's an illusion that you need to move away from and you know that but the fear is keeping you trapped the fear is keeping you stuck the fear that she that this queen of swords energy has drilled in you I'm sorry about the back I mean it's a beautiful day I it's not my fault it's just noise I'm going to clarify this Queen of Swords. See? Five of Wands, Four of Cups. This Queen of Swords has got you thinking, like I said, that you need her. That she's the golden cup. But it's just to create conflict. And chaos. In your mind. To keep you stuck. I said this in the last reading. So if you're resonating with this, you need to go check out that Oracle message that I just posted or that I will be posting before this one. It's a lie. 
whoever this queen of swords in your life is, male or female, doesn't matter. She needs you more than you need her, but she's got you convinced. And you are dreaming of more. You are dreaming of love that she's not offering. But she's got you stoked. What's this Eight of Swords? <laughs> Damn. This Queen of Swords could also be you keeping yourself stuck. Because to clarify the Eight of Swords, we got the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. This is passion. This is grounding. This is stability. Whatever this Queen of Swords energy is doing to you, whether it's somebody else or you, it's keeping you from your passion and your stability. It's keeping you from living your life in a way that you want. It's keeping you from finding, from standing on your own. Neither of these queens need anybody else's validation. Neither of these queens Well, they know their truth. They know what makes their heart be. They know where they want to go. But this Queen of Swords energy, maybe, like I said, maybe it's your own mind. Maybe it's the Queen of Swords in your own head telling you that can't happen. That's ridiculous. You're dreaming too big. There's a lot of heads in this reading. Clarify the moon, please. <laughs> the lovers and the four coins. Clarifying the moon. If you notice, these are two mirror images. The numbers are two mirror images. They mirror each other. Somebody's holding on to a love, a person, a passion, a dream. Keeping it to themselves feeling like they'll never have it. But keeping it close to their heart. It's like, I'm thinking of that song um, from Les Mis, On My Own. Just holding tight to a love. Like I said, a love, a passion, a dream, a job, a person, a or, you know, anything, holding on to it, and keeping it to yourself, wanting it so badly, not telling anyone. 
fantasy. Again, the moon is here, clarifying the moon. The moon and the six of swords. <laughs> this queen of swords is keeping whoever you are from thinking you can ever have this. Six of Swords, please. Thank you. Five of Swords. And the Strength. I see this two ways. I see this as somebody messing with your head so bad, trying so hard to keep you stuck and trapped. Again, it could be you fighting to stay in, in somewhere you don't belong. But it clarifies the Six of Swords. So it can also be recognizing the mind games and the manipulation that are going on, recognizing that the people, the person, the environment that you're in, you need to move away from and you need to be strong enough to believe in yourself, to move forward, to move out of the dark, because this is darkness, this is the moon, the eight of swords, the four of cups, the five of wands, five of swords. It's time to set yourself free. And waiting for this Queen of Swords energy to give you the green light, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. She's not going to give you the green light because she doesn't have the courage to move forward. She doesn't have the courage to open her heart and move towards her passions and standing on her own two feet and finding her own stability. This Queen of Swords wants you to wish and dream and hope and never fucking go anywhere. This Queen of Swords wants you to abide by what she has taught you. This Queen of Swords wants you to think there's nothing out there for you. That she has all the answers. Again, whoever this Queen of Swords energy is, it could be you keeping yourself stuck. It could be you sabotaging yourself. Telling yourself that what you want is the hopeless, useless. Give it up. It's a crazy dream. It'll never happen. Like I said in the last reading, We don't know if this is our one life, you know? We might be here, one and done. Do you really want to spend it in this energy, stuck in your head, not following your passion, relying on the validation of other people, and if they say you can't do it, you're just like, okay, I'll let my heart suffer. The choice is yours. The choice is, the choice is ours in everything. Ten of Swords. Time to put the past in the past. 
It's a lot of swords going on here. Six of swords, five of swords, eight of swords, queen of swords. How long are you going to not follow your heart? Ten of Wands. It's time to drop the burden. Because the burden is not yours. The burden comes when we don't live in our truth and we allow other people to tell us we're wrong and tell us our choices are wrong when you know in your heart what you want to do and what you're meant to do no matter how crazy it fucking sounds ten of cups motherfucker bro I shuffled these cards believe me ten of cups it's possible but not if you choose to stay stuck we all have free will and fear can keep us in the most fucked up situations that don't even make any sense. Other people can look at us like, why the hell are you still there? Sometimes we stay in situations because we're afraid to believe that this is possible. How are you supposed to know if you never move out of where you are, if you stay in this burdensome energy. Time to drop the burdens. Page of Swords, Judgment, Ace of Coins. Time to give yourself a new beginning if that's what you're looking for. If that's what you're looking for. There's another sword, by the way. All those people or that person, wouldn't you rather show them that you can do it instead of letting them get in your head and keep you stuck and letting them feel like they have that control over you? Even if it means you go from a, you know, you start as a page, starting over, fresh start, new beginnings in the mind. You're being guided to a new beginning. You're being guided to drop the swords and drop the burdens and drop the pressure of whoever this queen of swords energy is because you know what you want you know what you want to move towards fear is an illusion false evidence appearing real fear is an illusion no matter how much somebody else has convinced you that it's true it's an illusion you have the power to reprogram your mind you have the power to, to, to start new beliefs, to create new things for yourself, to bring judgment on your own life instead of letting other people judge you. The choice is yours. You're being guided to make that move to find the strength to move towards what your heart wants not what your mind tells you but what your heart wants follow your heart if you so choose or stay stuck like I said, the choice is yours. I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks for watching. 
You're beautiful. I love you.